Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan, and this is Satisfactory. We're we'll spending a lot of time in Satisfactory lately, and it's been a lot of fun. This is an 1100 hour save from the last several years of early access that we have upgraded to the 1.0 release. And so far so good. We've had, I'd say on average, maybe one crash every two-ish hours. Uh, the auto saves are pretty easy. They don't lag us out. Uh, so we've got those set up to every 10 minutes, I want to say. Yeah. And uh, we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday, uh, which is automating or semi automating SAM production to update the dimensional depot. Dan Grice resubscribed to tier one 42 months space. The Hitchhiker's Guide says, is big, really big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-blowingly big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the road to the chemist, but that's just perhaps peanuts to space. Thanks very much, Dan. I really appreciate the support. 42, the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Multimedia and mind trip media are two different things, but mind trip media is a frequent patron and supporter. Resubbing at tier three for 30 months in a row. Tier three, Mind Trip Media. That is just amazing. Thank you ever so much. As well, Mind Trip Media used 300 bits, and Twitch has used 30 bits to cap off an extra 10% on top of Mind Trip Media. Did Twitch change the dates? I thought the bonus bits started on the 26th. Today is the 13th. Did they change that? Sweet Sandy, do we know? Thank you so much for the support, folks. Uh, that means a hype train is close. If anybody wants to support a little bit more in the next two minutes, that will launch a support hype train where you get an emote from Twitch if you don't already have all of them. So we have been semi-automating the... I don't remember what they're called. Sam Fluctuator? Sam Fluctuator, I get it right. So now we have 167 of those, which means we can unlock more things in the alien technology. We could unlock power augmentation with some computers. We could unlock reduction amplification. I am more interested in the power augmenter. And we don't have enough Mercer spheres, I don't believe. No. So do I have enough Mercer spheres for this? I don't need a Mercer sphere. I need a summer slip. That would make more sense. So we'll do that one off the stream with progress I need computers where are my computers do I not have any more computers uh oh I might have to make computers or go get some. I could have sworn that I had computers. All right. Well, before we go get computers, let's top up the uh, wire. thought I had more computers. Uh, construction train, you are correct. That is more likely where they are. Bonus bits from September 12th to September 17th. Okay. I really wish Twitch would let us know this stuff. Well, we'll just pretend like I'm announcing it at the start of stream. Folks, September 12th at 10 a.m. Pacific time to September 17th at 12 a.m. Pacific time. Bits 
our bonus bits. If you decide to support the stream with some bits, then Twitch will top you up with what looks like 10%. Bonus gift subs is from the 26th. Oh, I see. I got the dates wrong. Maybe I wrote it down wrong in the Discord. Because I checked the Discord just a few seconds ago. Don't remember where... Oh, there they are. Bonus bits is a really good good shout. Um, because bits, I think, are one of the ways that people can support streamers where a good majority of, of the money that you're using goes towards the streamer. And then if Twitch is going to jump and do 10% on top of that, then that's just free support for your streamers if you decide to support them with bits. I'm going to decide what we're going to do today. I think it might be uh, might be time to look at our motors and rotors. Although it could be fun to just design the, the storage room, you know? That could be good too. We're cranking out the uh, reanimated Sam, that's for sure. Start the research. <clears throat> Power augmenter unlocked. Summer sloops naturally harvest. Harvest. Yes, harvest energy from distant sources and distribute it locally. The power augmenter supercharges summer sloops by feeding it local power, increasing its harvesting range and efficiency, and thus power output. Basically, the more power it's given, the more it provides. Do not loop the loop organ. It will shred and tear and unravel the threads. Many temples burned. Good to know. That confirms that hypothesis. Hmm. What is that? Alien power matrix. Well, we cannot make that. We do not have whatever those are. Singularity cells. We cannot make those. Uh, production amplification. That would be fairly easy to grab if we need to. But we also have... These require more Mercer Spheres, so I really need more Mercer Spheres before I can go farther down the alien tech tree. I think the only thing I need can, I can do here, right here is using um, more of these. Cosmic Dancer doing a quick flyby. Have a good visit with the family. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming in and saying hello. Zero T sixty six six. Hello. Production amplifier unlocked. Every single manufacturing and smelting building will be backwards compatible with this new technology. These buildings can now have a summer sloop embedded to increase resource output without requiring more input, at the cost of greatly increased power consumption. Flow cycles within flow cycles make explosions into temples into explosions into temples. The spin sphere of woven windows. Each tiny body contains tinier bodies until the line layers fold into curves which folds into threads which weave the tapestry. A song of light and leaf and flower, a dance of matter clouds, and... I think they're trying to explain energy to matter conversion theory, but you do not need to understand it to do your job. I'll just mute them for you so you can continue your mission. I, however, will be taking notes. This is fascinating material. Yeah, I'm getting a little sick of the constant weird um, other Ada stuff, whatever the second voice is. It's not... It doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's just nonsense. Just call you Zero. Uh, I know. I just, I like to, when I, when people first come in, I tend to use their full names just for, for fun. Uh, 
Uh, do, can we do that one? No, can't finish that one. I don't have a hard drive for that one. Okay, so we're done with that for now. And put these back in. Although we can look in here. Now there is a summer sloop output multiplier, so you can put a summer sloop in here. And it'll multiply the amount of stuff by two. But uh look what it did to the power. 3.1, it went up to 12. So it 4x the power to 2x the output. And it goes from 25 per minute to 50 per minute, right? Cool. I don't know if we'll need it, but neat, neat feature. I upload both from my inventory and from the dimensional depot at the same time? Yes, looks like I can. Cool. So we haven't gone to check on the aluminum yet, and I am potentially going to be running out of aluminum sheets soon. Well, I say soon, maybe not. Okay, never mind. So we can add the copper. Uh, we can also look at what we're doing for our alternate recipes. I don't think I've found a new hard drive since we've had the hard drive library. Uh, I don't know whether it's reset all of our, our um, recipes. I feel like if I make one of these. Yeah, we've got our alternate recipes still here. It's just not that they're not logged. So I wouldn't mind finding a hard drive. I feel like there's one over there. And I need to go and um, map out some of the new coal nodes that are over here too. Impure. There's another cave that's a dead end. Uh, wonder why those are green. There's a Samor up there. That's good to know. We do have more bauxite there. Looks like that may have moved. We got a number of the hard drives in the grassy plains, but not all of them. Jay hey Chris, hello, welcome in. Zero, you play a lot of shooters, and I had zero tolerance policy towards campers. Ah, the name stuck. That's a good. That's a good name. I mean, Zero's a fun name. Zero, did you ever play Borderlands? Because there's a Zero character in Borderlands two. And three. I mean, you can't play him in three, but you can play him in two. That uranium, yeah. Tyrium. That's the other thing we could go in and sort out our Caterium production as well. 
right, well, I think the first thing I need to do is uh, look at the sheet and figure out what's happening with uh, those motors and rotors. So the plan right now for rotors is to use steel pipe and wire. But I'm wondering if I could use an alternate recipe for that. I just don't know what alternate recipe exists for rotors. Uh, copper rotor and steel rotor. So we were planning on using the steel rotor, but we also have um, a regular rotor that we could do. But I don't like using screws. So this is what we were currently planning on doing is the steel rotor. Um, yeah, steel rotor. But what I could do is try to find the alternative for steel pipes. Because steel pipes have got an alt recipe as well. Iron pipe. That would be very, very cool and probably pretty easy to do in our current steel factory. Because right now all of our coal is going into steel. And I, if I could just use iron, then that would be fantastic. So I would say that it wouldn't be a bad idea to go and find a hard drive. And you can go and look for these on your own. Uh, I've just been in the game for so long that I just, I sort of know where they are. I sort of just like using a map to find where they are. It's, exploration is not my biggest um, draw in the game. So we've got three here. Did I find that one on my map? I don't have anything marked in the top left. I feel like I've been marking these pretty well. Drop pod retrieved, drop pod retrieved, drop pod retrieved. So there's a couple more. I feel like this is there's less hard drives now. Well, there's at least one, I think. Where is it? Right there. So somewhere about there. See where it is? My guess is up on that hill. And we'll make it look far. And be noisy, but we can at least you be able to see it. All right, let's go. Uh, is Borderlands a uh, movie a good watch? I don't know. I, I want to see it, but I've not seen it myself. Oh, it's purple. Cool. Let's see if this is any easier to use. Cool sound effects. See a slug. You lose all your momentum, which is unfortunate. Uh, 
Yeah, too bad. Oh, there it is, there. Needs power. Well, I've got power nearby. Sound effects for those. And they're loud. Damaged hard drive successfully acquired. All pioneers are contractually obliged to preserve and secure any recovered hard drives for analysis in the MAM, which may result in benefits to the Fixit mission. Speculation as to why there are crashed freighters in your Fixit designated zone is discouraged as specified in your contract. <laughs> So, I will just be able to mark that the player. That's one. Was there one other one? Basically due east. I think I've got that one already though. Yes, I would say I probably have that one already. There's not really many more around here. Unfortunately. Maybe a couple more in the Spire Coast. Zero! Converted from a Prime sub to a Tier 1 sub. That's amazing. Thanks ever so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, did that not come up on... That didn't come up on my little ticker. The last thing I've got here is um, Mind Trip Media. Doing a tier three. Maybe it doesn't notify me when there's a conversion. Uh, but I really appreciate that, Zero. Thank you. Yeah, there's a highlight in chat, but there was no... As, as Sandy said, there's no pling plong. <laughs> a funny way to put that. Those don't need to be there. So I think the thing I'm looking for is steel iron steel ingots. Can't remember exactly what it is. Hard drive library. Hard drives. There we go. Ten minutes. We've got several of those now, which is cool. Um... I'm more interested in the alternate recipes that I am unlocking more stuff. And words, it's Friday. The work week is over, right? I hear you. It's been a busy week. Uh, can you scan for hard drives? Uh, you cannot 
scan scan for hard drives? You can use the um the hand scanner for hard drives. That's what you can do. I also could look at the new buildable. Alien power augmenter. It takes 10 summer sloop to build it? Holy crap. You are only going to be able to build a handful of these. 10 summer sloop to build it. We could potentially build it? Oh, it's massive. Wow. That's a huge building. That's pretty big. See, I think that would look really cool on the top of Megatron. I think we could make that look really, really neat. No, I don't need more power right now. I was just curious to see how much it was going to be to build just to look at it, but I'll just, I'll leave it. That's fine. All right. Well, I think um, we have to wait for that hard drive. So maybe what we can do in the meantime is take a look at my main bus, uh, which is quickly filling up, unfortunately. Uh, I need to really start to think about how I'm going to bring in more material. But one thing I do want to do is um, I think I'm going to keep, like I feel like where this sort of ends is good. We've got this, this, this could move. There's nothing behind this at all that's of any importance. It's just a matter of like where the edges of the existing factories are. So like we've got a nice amount of room here. So this would be the edge here. Right? So we could keep it like that. Or this could get pushed back. That's fine. Where is that? That's that's in line with the main wall. And then over here it's the same thing. This actually goes deeper. And then there's a temporary stairwell in here too. Right, so then this wall is behind everything. So there's room to move it, should we want to or need to. And I think I already counted this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so this is gonna be here. Actually, no, that's... Singles? Yeah. Right, so that'll extend that. We'll have a little bit of vertical space as the uh, land opens up a little bit. Have they changed the number of sloops? Or they have changed the number of sloops. There's like 150. Oh, okay. So that's what they meant by by adding more. So there is, it's one on the end. Two, one, two, one. So I've got, that's wrong. That would not be there at all. I don't think that would make a good design choice. And I'd like to think that I could put a train going through here, but I think that that's going to be too, too close, too low. 
So I'd like to think about like how we would do some sort of train support through here. And I think I only want the single line. I could always have it exit out the back. And I like this, like I do like this little kind of bridge system that we have. Because this has all the power underneath it. Right, now these are just temporary. I think what I'd like to do is extend this. So rather than this going down, I think I'm going to level this off. Keep it high. But yeah, if we were running through here, what would be a good level for a train? I guess you should really balance it with the train track, right? It's supposed to go straight if you snap to control, but I'm not really feeling the snap. Is that high enough, you think? Having a train zipping in and out of here. I kind of want to do two. Kind of guessed at that, but I feel like that's a decent height. We could still very easily jump underneath it to get across. We could have little maglev supports underneath it. Uh, the tube has always been temporary. Um, the side tubes are probably going to stay, but I don't know about the I don't know about the center tube. And you still see it while swooshing through space, yeah. Yeah, you're not like looking up, 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 or or it's it's not um, it's not impeding the view of the factories too much. I could put it a little bit higher, maybe. Maybe a tad lower, you say? Well, we can try that. Man, with the UI turned down, you really got to pay attention to those man research heads up. You think that level? So the thing about the hard drives now is that you don't have to... Um, choose the recipe you can log it and therefore increase the chances of having better recipes hard drive scan, scan has been completed the scanned hard drive has been added to your hard drive library 
Alternate basic iron ingot. Alternate recycled rubber. Not something we typically need. And not something I'm going to be using fuel for. So, uh, we just leave this here. We don't have to select it. Uh, we can rescan the hard drive usable once. Or what we can do is get another hard drive and then we're guaranteed that this combo won't come up again. Like neither of these will come up again. So we're guaranteed to get some of the other recipes that we're looking for as long as we don't select this right now. So that's my plan is to try and go through some hard drives and see if we can't unlock some of the cool things that I want for my production. Uh, probably go a lower one. All depends what kind of looks you want. We'll have to move the, the hypertube, yeah. Which is unfortunate. Unless I can put the hypertube above the train tracks? I don't know. What I could do is put the hypertube between two train tracks, right? So instead of a train coming in here... I could have a dual train coming in here. That would mean sacrificing one of these uh, train stops. Right? Everything would have to shift over. Right? So the idea would be that we would have two lines coming in here, uh, both going into Devastator. And then... And see, I, I don't know if I want to do it just for looks right or the idea i thought would be cool is if i had a train picking up stuff that could just fill up my inventory like fill up my storage worth of things that would be kind of nice uh but then all the trains that stop here these are for the main bus like they're there for all those supplies that go in right so but if i did two lines here i'd have to lose this train station uh, i do have an extra one over here hook is not being used so I could very easily move um, Mixmaster to a different location. I am gonna I'm gonna raise the train station, yeah. Well, I mean, really, what I think I need to do is decide, like I said here, what that design is gonna look like, because that will determine then what the height is down here. Like if I go down here. Right, like this is just too low and cumbersome and a pain in the butt, right? So what I would like to do is, as I said, have this, what did I say, three or four of these? See, that's way up here. Even if it came in flat on something, it's still three foundations higher than this. And I guess that's the thing. Th this train doesn't have to be on the station. Like, it could just be a floating train that goes by, right? I'll leave one of these here. Why is it upside down? Does anybody know why that still happens?
I forgot how cool you can make these signs. So, potentially new new train height, maybe? We'll see. I think I like the taller one. I feel like it just gives us a little bit more room underneath it to play around. I mean, these buildings are going to get taller, so it's not like they're going to block the view of anything. If for some reason you need more belts, that's another really good option, Sandy. I agree. The idea is to have this go like go all the way in here through a, a cave. Or not a cave, but through a chasm, and then have a train station here that, just like this, is going to be pulling resources up into a storage system. Right? It's just hard because I've got a lot of my travel infrastructure already in here. So it's a bit tricky. A bit tricky. But like this would all be right up to I think here. I think that's the farthest it goes. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I don't think we lose any ground in through here. No, it's all flat. Up until it starts to go up here. But at that point, there'd be so little resources on this thing, we could probably get away with dumping some. Nighttime, and I'm gonna stick to my breaks at night today just because it's a lot easier to see what we're doing in the daytime. So I'm gonna throw down a train and jump on that. Oh, look, there's already one here. Maybe I'll just. Well, I guess we could take those with us, it doesn't really matter. Uh, Megatron Devastator Hub. Do not want to do Western Slopes. Cool. Uh, I'm going to be back in about five or six minutes, folks. If you wouldn't mind sharing the stream around with your friends, uh, I would very much appreciate it. We are trying to grow the channel. 
And uh, we'll be back in just a few. You get to ride the brake train, and I get to have a cup of coffee.
Uh oh. The game has crashed. That's no good. Don't know when the last save was. I was worried we had a crash from um, OBS just before the stream started. And I was wondering, I don't know whether it's my computer because I've been watching Total Eclipse stream and he's not had any crashes whatsoever. I mean, he would have a better system than I do. Just takes a couple seconds to reboot here. We'll get back up and running in just a few minutes. Um, oh, it's only three minutes ago, two minutes ago. We'll be on a train somewhere. I don't know whether it's factory related or whether it's just like timing. Maybe it's a lighting update. Something's going screwy. Weird that we were in motion when it saved. Yeah, the crash was just when we came around the corner, right? Hopefully it doesn't crash again. I can't control my... I can't get out of autopilot. That's weird. Yeah, like I can't, um, I can't get into the locomotive. I can't exit the locomotive. I can't control anything. Even escape doesn't work. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, he's going to go around in circles. I don't know what's going on. Has happened here. All right. So one of the things I think I did wrong was have all these extra bits going off to the side, and it might be fun to have extra belts here, but I don't think I need them the whole length of the factory. I feel like I was using up space that could have been used for potential um, uh, main bus stuff. Give me one second, folks. Sorry, folks. I uh, thought that might have been the front door. I'm still, I got one more Amazon delivery coming today. So my phone is not um, muted during the stream because I don't want to miss it. We've got the power supply 
coming for the Sony ZV-E10 that I bought. Um, so uh, if you missed it, there's an unboxing video that's going to be posted on YouTube. It is currently on Twitch if you want to go back and watch it. I talk a little bit about what we're going to be using the camera for, for podcasting and for, uh, I think, either this or my other uh, camera uh, we're going to um, utilize for um, for adding a face cam here on Twitch. Did I do that right? That's the middle. Two and one. Two and one. Is it only that wide? Yeah, I guess it's only one. So this is this is the extra stuff here. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. So this is likely not going to be there. I'm really itching to make this look a lot more like Devastator. So I think that's one of the reasons why I want to do this. This is too low. I can tell you that right now. Oh, crashed again. Son of a gun. That's going to make for a crappy stream afternoon. I don't like that. Really wish they would give you like more information. Like you have to be a coder to understand this crash log. Um, I'm going to try loading it before I went. Hmm. Really wish I knew what to do about the crashes. This might have been before I went on the break. I'll create a new save anyway. I think I was just standing on the on the platform. Yeah, I hadn't even done that yet. Okay. Let's make a new save. Hmm. You just send the crashes back to the developers? Uh, same thing, yeah, I have those boxes checked. They ask me, like, you know, tell us specifically what you were doing when a crash happened. Um, <laughs> standing around playing your game? Like, I don't know. I, I don't know what's happening in the background that's different. I can't see the entire factory, right? Man, this cup of coffee smells so good. I got a Guatemalan roast from a local coffee roaster. And it is earthy and beautiful. Ooh, and hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hmm. So the idea was to bring it in there. 
and eliminate... Basically, I needed to give myself more room down here. I really felt like I was kind of cramped. Uh, and what I would be able to do if we had this up here, then the main bus here could go straight across, right? Like, imagine if, if that's the new train level, then we wouldn't have to do... Oh, crap. What is going on? I might have to start a new game. Kind of hard to talk about stuff if I keep on crashing. And I've got no idea. Unreal process has crashed. A lot of stuff that says factory game EGS, factory game Windows 64 shipping. Low level tasks. Crap. I'm going to send and close. Then I'm going to verify the files again. I don't think it's OBS. OBS hasn't had any problems. The stream hasn't crashed. In the meantime, what I can do is um, I'm going to use the satisfactory calculator and I'm going to upload my save so you can see what it looks like on the map. Um, what was that, 275? This might take a minute. So in one, in one respect, something I could do is start a new 1.0 save world. It would unfortunately reset our hours played. And then I could copy and paste the stuff from here into the new map, which may be a huge pain in the butt too. But we shall see. That's really disappointing. I, I don't know whether this is the game or whether it's my save. I've got no way of telling. No way of knowing. So you can see kind of why I want to have everything on the central axis. Like this axis is right down through the middle of the dune desert. Uh, what I don't like, of course, is all this nonsense along here. Like none of this really needs to be here. Um, it was just a road for coming, getting access down into here. Um, and then you can also see where I put the roundabout here and how I feel that would be better, like central, like right, right there. I think it would be a much better spot for it. And then the Megatron station is down here. You can see how big that is. Like it is almost as big as Devastator. I, I would argue Devastator will eventually grow to be bigger. But I, I think Megatron from a physical size is larger. So one thing I could do easily is um, copy and paste the entirety of Megatron into a new save. Not today, but like that's something I could try in the background. Yeah, right now Megatron I think is larger. I agree. So I could I could bring that in. That means we could get right back up to power pretty fast um, as soon as I unlock the old power. But you can see why I don't want to start over. I mean, I'll start something new just to have the onboarding experience and share that with people. Um, so I'll have to see what might be the best way. I've got auto updates on. I'm not seeing anything in the satisfactory discord about any kind of new push. Today, there was a 
thing that came out yesterday. But the devs are taking a long weekend. So... To see. Um... The story is from from the beginning, but I can see why you don't want to restart. Yeah, no, I definitely don't want to restart. And the train station just never seemed to really jive with me. I feel like if we went higher with the train station, we could even... See, there's this giant rock that's in the way, too. So the train station has to be kind of off the axis. And I was thinking so terrestrially when I first designed the train station, having everything on platforms. And now I've got this SkyTrain thing going, and I feel like that's going to be way more flexible in the long run. But I'm not going to be messing around with moving tracks if we're going to be crashing every, every five to ten minutes. Cosmic Dancer had said that they were experiencing crashes um, just on a new save. So it's not just big saves. Dan, you were too? Yeah. Dislike. I really was hoping that this was going to be smooth sailing. We had a four hour stream the other day with only two crashes. We had a, another stream the day before with only one. I hope it's not like a corrupted save file. And I really don't want to do any decorating if I'm going to be crashing in the middle of the stuff. Like, that would be really frustrating. Because a lot of what I do from a design perspective in Satisfactory is kind of trial and error. Kind of exploratory. Having to redo that stuff would be infuriating. Cut your save time to 15 minutes. Yeah, mine's at 10. Mine's at 10. I could try a video changing the video quality on belts, light, anti aliasing I do one on high. Where is the foliage quality? Well, that's already at medium. Does anybody in the chat that's tech savvy know if any of these upscaling methods are better than the other? I could try performance, see if that helps.
Right, so I think I like that top one. And that was, I think, four. No, 12 meters up. 12 meters up. Question is, do I want one or two? I think that looks pretty cool. I'm not sure what we would do for the actual train supports. I feel like what I would want to do is have something attached to this. So somewhere's in here. I'd have to have maybe some sort of beam. I would make this out of something on um, on the Blueprint designer. That might look a little bit funny. Yeah, it's not going to look like it's got enough oomph to it. So maybe we have to do something across the top. Crashing again. Well, I'm not going to be messing around with Devastator today because that just seems like I'm beating my head against the wall. Uh, we'll try starting a new save, I guess, just to experience the onboarding. Um, but I can't really do much about the stream crashing. Or not the stream, but like satisfactory. Yeah, that is frustrating because we did not have this problem yesterday, right? Like what's, what's changed? Nothing. You know, really nothing has changed. And so now I don't feel confident putting time into the Devastator save because I've got no idea, um, no idea if it'll actually, actually work, right? All right, well, um, what I should do is just to make sure I have a separate VOD for this, uh, I'm going to quickly stop the stream and restart it. I'll change the title of the stream so people coming in will know what's going on. Uh, that way I'll have a separate VOD for YouTube as well. And... We'll start a new save. I will probably start in the grassy fields. I feel like that's probably a decent spot to, to get going. Everything else is just going to be too much of the same of what I've done before. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, thanks very much for sticking around through all of the craziness. And um, 
You can check out all of the VODs. I've been publishing the VODs immediately as soon as I can on YouTube for people to watch. Uh, my YouTube VOD channel is monetized, so if you are spending any time over there watching, you are helping me out a great deal. Spread the word. We're trying to grow the channel. You can find me at Joel Duggan on social media, Joel Duggan on Twitch, of course, and Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. You can, of course, listen to the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts. They are both free. And again, the more listeners that we get, the better that we do. So if you want to tell friends about those shows, if you want to listen to those shows, I truly, truly appreciate it. Don't forget to check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. That's where I am supported quite frequently by you all. And I really, really appreciate it. It has allowed me to expand my studio a bit. It's uh, allowed me to continue to do this as often as I do. So uh, please check it out. It's less than a cup of coffee a month to join the Discord and participate in this cool community. And I imagine in the future, share tech woes and figure out if there's anything we can do about these crashing issues. So again, uh, I'm just going to restart the stream and we'll start a new file. So you can look forward to uh, me experiencing the 1.0 for the first time, uh, starting from zero on the next VOD. And uh, maybe you'll pick up a couple tips if you're new to the game as well. So I will see you next time, which for some of you is going to be in just a few minutes.